Hello friends, welcome. Today's class, we will be going through how to do the lateral diaphragmatic breathing and how to access into our deep abdominal muscle. We will be doing exercises that will release our body, getting the body into moving. So let's begin. We're going to start seated position. If you're comfortable, have your leg cross-legged. If you're not comfortable like so, you are welcome to sit on a chair. Okay, when you're ready, place the heel of your palm on the side of the rib cage. Now like it to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. As you inhale, feel the rib cage expanding into your hands. As you exhale, deflate out through the mouth. Again, we inhale. We exhale. So bring your focus. How much can you really expand your rib cage sideways? Bringing your focus as well to the back of your ribs and laterally too. So again, we inhale. Exhale. Keep going. I like you to refrain yourself from as you breathe in to lift the sternum up and releasing down. So try to keep the upper chest, the rib cage, the sternum nice and calm and really focus on the lateral expansion of the rib cage as well as the expansion at the back of the rib cage. Let's do again three more times. Last one. Okay, and now let that go. Now you have an idea about a little bit of the lateral breathing. Now place your hands in front of the belly and continue with the breathing. So we inhale. As you breathe, the ribs, as you breathe in, the rib catch expand, you feel the belly expanding a little bit to the front into your hands. And as you exhale, you feel the belly pulling away from your hands and your rib cage deflating. And inhale. Let's do two more. One last. Okay, well done. Now let's move on to our active lateral breathing or active diaphragmatic breathing. So we inhale again, the rib cage expands. As you exhale, I like you to pull the abdominal muscle, the abdominal wall deep into the spine and deflate the rib cage and exhale the air out. Now as you inhale, I like you to refrain the belly from pushing out and focus on the lateral expansion of the rib cage. Now, as you exhale, draw the abdominal wall even deeper into the spine and expel the air, contract the rib cage. So let's give it a try. So we inhale, exhale, we draw the abdominal wall in. The next inhalation, try to keep the abdominal wall in as you inhale and expand the rib cage. Exhaling, pull in the abdominal a little deeper to the spine. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Let's do three more times. Two 
two more. Last one. And let that go. Well done. You'll find that you're actually sitting upright a lot longer now. Okay, let's move on. Let's take your arms up to the side here. We're going to inhale. I'm going to go to my left as you go to your right. And tilt your body over to the left or your right. I'm going to my left and take your top arm over. And then lift up and come back to the center. Inhale over to the other side and take your top arm over as you exhale. Inhale, lengthening up and come back. Again, one more each side. Inhale with tip and exhale over. Inhale, lifting and come back. And then over to the other side. And take the top arm over and we'll reach and come back. Let that go. Let's rotate to your right, which is my left. We're going to sit up tall and turn the spine over looking over to the shoulder behind you and hold this inhaling exhale can we go a little bit more inhale can we go further exhale and release over to the other side as we inhale with twist exhale inhale can we go further Exhale, one last inhale, exhale, and release that. And tipping your neck or your head over to the right shoulder as you inhale. You can also bring the top arm over, gently pressing the head away from the shoulder. Inhale, feeling the stretch on the outside of the neck. Exhale, and let it go over to the other side head over to your left shoulder take the top arm over and then you can pull the gently pull it a little bit closer towards the shoulder in breath exhale and let that go well done let's go ahead and face to the front of the mat so this is my front here I like you to bring your hands underneath the thigh, have your feet hip width distance apart, approximately about a fist distance between your heels and your feet and your toes. Now, sitting up nice and tall, perching on your sitting bone. Again, we inhale, a lateral breathing. Now, as we exhale, I like you to draw in the abdominal wall and then that will take you towards a spinal flexion so we're rounding the spine here and inhale we lift exhale we flex inhale we lift two more exhale in breath last one exhale and lift up tall and now go ahead and exhale flex the spine again i like you to straighten the arm roll the spine back and just walk your feet closer to your bottom as you transition yourself down to the floor now bring your feet a little closer towards your bottom approximately about 45 degrees at the knee joint here again your feet are still parallel hip width distance apart your arms are long your neck is long, your pelvis and your spine in a nice, a comfortable position. Stretch your left leg down on the floor. Keep your right knee bent. Take your left arm up overhead. Now, like you now, stretch the leg and the arm away, pulling away from your center as you in breath. Exhale, let that go. Two more. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale. Last one. Stretch out. And let that go. Bring the leg in. Take the arm down. And let's go on to the other side. Stretch your right leg down. Take the right arm overhead. 
and inhale reach the leg and the arm away from the center you can actually dorsiflex your foot and exhale let it go two more inhale we reach creating like a little morning yawn in the body and and let it go one more reach and lengthen out and let that go now bring the right foot in take the right arm down take the left knee up grab the shin bone with the hands interlace your fingers stretch your right leg down on the floor i'd like you to compress the left hip as you press the leg towards your your thigh towards your chest now stay here inhale gently press exhale let it go one more time inhale press exhale let it go and release the foot down bring the right foot in take the right thigh up grab the shin with the hand stretch the left leg long you can also dorsiflex that foot the left foot and then inhale compress your thigh to your chest and exhale let it go one more compress and let it go and then bring the right foot down bring the left foot in and go back again to the bent knee position you can have your feet hip width distance apart now let's move on here we take an inhale as we exhale i want you to deflate the abdominal muscle and that will take your pelvis into what we call a posterior tilt a backward tilt then you're imprinting the lower spine down to the floor and then release again exhale abdominal wall in you rock the pelvis press the lower spine the bottom comes off and then release let's go three more times exhale we're just moving the pelvis here and the lower spine and release and two more rock and release last one we rock and release now we're going to take it further we exhale we rock the pelvis continue exhaling we're going to peel the rest of the spine up off the floor into the bridging position here so your hamstrings are working your abdominal wall abdominal muscles are working inhale at the top exhale we roll down vertebrae by vertebrae articulating the spine and release back to the floor let's do two more times exhale abdominal muscle drawing in compressing the lower spine to the floor and then we peel the spine up to that bridging position inhale exhale we roll down vertebrae by vertebrae and release one last one exhale we draw the abdominal muscle in, press the feet, lift the spine, one vertebrae at a time, inhale, and exhale, roll it back down. Excellent. Now let's have your feet at the edge or at the edge of the mat, so quite wide here. Open your arms to a T position, and I'd like you to turn your body towards me. So you're going to drop the knee to one side. I'm going to my right side here. And then come back to center. And then drop your legs to the other side as you in-breath. Exhale, pull the abdominal muscle in, come back to center. And drop to the right as you inhale. Exhale, come back. Drop to the left exhale come back one more each side to the right exhale come back last one to the left and come back in walk your feet back towards the center take one leg up grab the knee take the other leg up grab the knee now we're going to do some hip circle here so we're going to compress the knee to your chest open the thigh and then pull away and bring it in so creating a movement like you're stirring a pot of soup with your thigh bone in the hip socket so we're just gonna breathe in and out naturally here we go one more then let's go to the other direction we go pull away open and pull in in breath 
out, pull in, in breath, out, pull in, two more, and pull in, last one, and center. Lower one foot down, second one down, and turn your body towards me. Okay, now I'd like you to just have the legs together, interlace the hands to the back of your head, lying on your side. Now I want you to inhale to open the elbow, look to the ceiling, and just rotate the spine towards the back. Exhale, we come back. And just do three more of this. Inhale, we rotate, we open. Exhale, we return. Two more. Inhale, rotate, open. Exhale, we return. Last one. Inhale, open, rotate. Exhale, we come back. Let that go. Come up. Let's go over to the other side. We'll do the same thing. Interlacing your hands, the back of your head, knees together, feet together. And we go inhale, rotating the chest, opening up. Exhale, come back. And inhale, opening the chest, rotating up. Exhale. Let's go two more. In breath. Exhale. Last one here. In breath. Exhale. Come back. All right. Come up onto your hands and your knees. The last exercise for this class. I like you to place your hands underneath the shoulder and your pelvis is somewhere between the knee and the heel. You can tuck the toes behind you. Now try to create a nice long spine for this position. Your gaze is forward towards the floor. Now, this is a modified cat, so take an inhale. As you exhale, draw in the abdominal wall. We need to flex the spine and round the back. And come back to that long spine position and continue the journey towards upper back, middle back extension and center three more times flex round back and flat and extension and flat and round back and flat extension and flat last one round back and flat and extend the upper back and release well done let that go release the feet bring the bottom your pelvis to your heels and just stretch your body forward into a rest position here which is going to stay here two sets of breath inhale feel up the lungs opening the rib cage sideways and to the back of the ribs exhale deflate the rib cage one more. Inhale. Exhale. Well done. And slowly roll your spine back up to a seated position. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.